everyone, this is a review of Goose Creek Candles new scented wax melt scents that have just come out over the past, I guess, over the past month or so. A couple of them have not been released yet. The Christmas ones, I think, will be coming out over the next, um, next month or so. And I think one of them already did come out earlier. So I'm actually very, very happy with these scents. And if you've seen my reviews before, you'll know that when I when I put the wax back into the container after I'm done, it means that it's a scent that I'm not keeping. But that can be a variety of reasons. Either I don't like the scent or it doesn't throw well for me. Or it just might be a scent that I have a lot of other scents that are similar. So I have to be very, uh, very choosy with what I keep because I have, you know, well over 1,200 wax melts. So I can't keep everything. But... I actually kept, I'm actually going to keep a lot more of these than I normally do when I do my reviews. So that's kind of a testament as to how much I enjoyed these scents. So we will start with Autumn. Oh boy, I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, and this is a nice kind of a yellowish wax. The notes are, the top notes are tea leaves, harvest spices, the middle notes are orange blossom and crunchy leaves, and the base notes are birch leaves and light cinnamon. This is a perfect fall scent. It's apple cider with some mulling spices, a little bit of that musty sour note of crunchy leaves or old apples that have fallen to the ground, but not in a bad way. And the sour note is not too strong, which is good. Um, looking at the scent notes, I don't see apple at all. But apple is what I'm definitely smelling. Um, I, I do smell the spices, but I don't smell tea or orange blossom. It really is, to me, and let me smell this again because I, I melted this the other day. Oh, it's definitely apple. It's definitely apple cider for sure. And like I said, I mean, the only reason I'm not keeping it is I already have a lot of apple cider scents. And apple cider scents are not really a big favorite of mine. Um... But this is actually a really nice one. The throw is excellent, 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. Autumn in Amsterdam. Nice, kind of a light blue wax. The notes are, top notes are bright citrus and apple and black currant. Middle notes are blackberry woods. And base notes are light spice and sandalwood. Um... This is a nice, warm, ambery, perfumey or cologne type scent with sweet vanilla and maybe a hint of some kind of berry. Um, it smells a little bit like the Jingle Bell scent, which I will review later. But this one is definitely more of a perfumey scent. It's kind of more like a woman's perfume, but there's also that very slight alcohol note of men's cologne, but not in a bad way. Looking at the scent notes, it's the blackberry. The blackberry is the fruit note that I think I'm detecting, which is why it smells a little bit like Sensational's blackberry cider. And then looking at the scent notes again, I don't smell citrus or apple at all. Um, let me just check this again, see if... No, I don't smell apple or citrus. Um, the throw was good, three out of five which is why I'm not keeping it because I have a lot of scents that smell just like this that throw really well, but I probably will melt this again just in case, you know, once in a while, if I melt it a second time, the throw might be a little bit different if I have the windows closed or if maybe my, you know, my nose might be stuffy from, from allergies or whatever. So I probably will melt this again and then um, see what the throw is then. Next we have Christmas Magic. This is kind of like a nice, kind of kind of a plum type color. The notes are, it says, uh, oh, and this one has not yet appeared on the website. I actually found the scent notes on a website um, in Europe because a lot of the scents that are not available yet here are available in Europe. So the scent notes are amber, sweet mandarin, and peppermint extract. Open this enchanting fragrance with, while crushed candy canes swirl with creamy vanilla and vanilla sugar. This one smells like hard peppermint candies, but it also has a bit of a rich, full-bodied vanilla note. 
It's very, very pepperminty. In fact, even just opening it, like, whoo, it's, it's really pepperminty. But it's not spearminty. It doesn't smell like, uh, doesn't smell like, uh, like tooth, um, toothpaste or anything like that, which is good. Looking at the scent notes, I don't smell mandarin at all, which is orange. I don't smell orange. This one smells almost exactly like their peppermint snowflake scent from last year, but with much more peppermint. And I love my peppermint scents, so I really like this one. And the throw is excellent, four out of five. Next, we have cookies and milk. And the notes are creamy dark chocolate notes with milk, caramel, hazelnut, creamy vanilla, and sweet sugar. Um, I smell a sweet, rich, co rich cookie dough with a subtle milk chocolate note. It's not a dark, bitter chocolate, which is good. Uh, this one is is similar to their cookie dough bites scent, but also slightly different. The cookie dough bites scent is sweeter and more chocolatey. I think this scent has more of a, more of a milky vanilla note. Uh, looking at the scent notes, I think I do smell a hint of nut, but not really the caramel. Um, and when melted, it's it's a yummy, milky, chocolate chip cookie scent. And the throw was excellent, 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. Next we have Cool Harvest Morning, another kind of a maroonish type of wine-colored scent or uh, wax. Top notes are Fresh Apple and Cool Autumn Mist, mid notes. The middle note is apple peels and bright bergamot, and the base is soft sandalwood. Um, on cold sniff, I smell apple and a little bit of caramel and a little bit of pine and fresh air. Melted, the sweet caramel really comes out and the scent becomes richer and more full-bodied, but it's not overly sweet, and it's not really a foodie-type scent either because of the fresh pine note. Looking at the scent notes, I'm surprised I don't see pine because I really do smell it, even though it's not strong. I'm actually going to smell it again and see if I still... I mean, I, I do smell pine in the background. I mean, it's it's not strong at all, but I, I do smell it in the background. Um, so maybe it's the bergamot or the cool autumn mist that I'm smelling, whatever the cool autumn mist smells like. It's a fantastic very pleasant scent and it smells even better when it's melted than it does on cold sniff and the throw is excellent 3.5 or a four out of five jingle bells oh my gosh i need to stock up on this one this is an unbelievably incredible scent although i think it might be one of those scents that people will either really love it or just kind of like it. I don't know. I mean, it's just so unusual. I mean, for me, I absolutely adore it. I don't know if it's going to be as widely loved as, you know, as, as I, as I love it. I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a very unusual scent and I kind of like unusual scents. Um, the notes are light notes of pear, tangerine, apricot, sugar, and creamy vanilla bean. On cold sniff, I smell sweet vanilla and pear with a subtle note of anise. I don't know if it's anise or anise. I don't know how that's pronounced. And maybe a smidgen of perfume. But when it's melted, it's completely different. It smells like a thick, rich, sweet vanilla and pear syrup with a marshmallowy note. And I even smell the apricot a bit. Um... I don't smell the anise or the anise, <laughs> the anise <laughs> at all when it's melted, um, which is actually good because I'm not really a fan of that type of a licorice type scent. Um, and I don't smell the tangerine either at all. Um, there's also something a little bit warm in there, not spicy warm, but like a cashmere or an amber perfume warm, even though this is not a perfumey scent not even really a foodie scent either it's so unique I don't even know how to properly describe it or classify it I'm not I don't even know which cabinet I'm going to put it in because it could be so many different types of scents um 
even though I smell the pear and the apricot, it's not really a fruity scent. It, it's just, it's just fantastic. You have to try it. And the throw is excellent. Four out of five. I just, I cannot stop raving about this Jingle Bell scent. Lemon vanilla cake batter. Um, this one I was, when I did my reviews back in March, this one was sold out. So I was never able to, to get a hold of it. So now I'm finally able to review it because I couldn't get a hold of it before. Top notes are warm, warm lemon filling and cake batter. Middle notes are vanilla bean and warm butter. And the base note is light blueberry. Um, it's a very nice lemon scent. It's tangy and authentic, but with a sweet marshmallowy vanilla. It's not an overpowering lemon. It's definitely not a kitchen lemon. Not exactly a bakery lemon either. Melted, it smells like a rich, buttery, marshmallowy lemon. And I think I detect a very subtle, barely noticeable coconut. Looking at the scent notes, there's no coconut. But blueberry, maybe. I wouldn't think blueberry if I didn't know it was in the scent notes. But it might be way in the background. Either way, it's a delicious scent. And the throw is excellent. 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. Night Before Christmas, nice bright red cheerful wax there. Scent notes are bergamot, mandarin, and pine layered with caramel musk. I love this scent. It's pine perfume. That's the only way I can describe it. It's pine perfume. I smell a fairly even mixture of pine and a sweet, warm, slightly soapy, musky perfume scent and maybe a smidgen of fruit. I adore the scent. Looking at the scent notes, the mandarin is probably the fruit, although I don't smell orange at all. Or the, the, maybe it's almost like a, the perfumey scent is almost like an orange blossom type perfume. Yeah, orange blossom. That's it. Orange blossom, it actually smells a little bit like neroli, which is one of my favorite scents. So I would say it's almost like a combination of neroli and pine. Just absolutely incredible. And a scent monster. Five out of five throw that took over the entire house. Night before Christmas. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I wish I didn't have to use this, um, the flash, but it's just too dark in here to not use it. Anyway, night before Christmas. Fantastic. It's not on the website yet, but it will be. Salted caramel cupcake. And the top note is, oh, the top notes are creamy caramel and warm vanilla. Middle notes are sea salt, whipped frosting, and the base note is fluffy baked cake. This is a yummy vanilla cake scent with a rich caramel butterscotch note. It's not very salty despite the name, which is kind of good because it, cause there are a lot of salty caramel scents out there. It really smells good. Um, I, I'm only, I'm not keeping it because I have so many scents that smell like this. Throw was very good, three or 3.5 out of five. Next we have white icing cinnamon roll. And the top notes are sweet cinnamon sugar. Middle note is marshmallow vanilla icing and base note is doughy cinnamon roll. This is the most authentic cinnamon roll scent I've ever smelled. It's very bready, just like the real thing. The cinnamon is realistic rather than an over the top biting cinnamon scent. Um, it's not overly sweet, and although I do smell a sweet vanilla note, I expected kind of a rich buttercream note for the white icing, um, which I don't really smell, but it doesn't matter because there's already a lot of other scents out there like that. This scent is unique and realistic. Very, very nice, and the throw is excellent. 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. And last we have Winter Bayberry, and the notes are... And I think this one's not on the site yet either. Notes are bayberry mixed with fresh pine and light notes of citrus and cedar. Give this smell a refreshing tone. This is a slightly perfumey scent with a fruity note, maybe peach and a green type of clean note. Actually, I think it's apple I'm smelling. Um, it doesn't smell like, bear, like bayberry to me. I've smelled bayberry berry before. It doesn't smell like that. Looking at the scent notes, I guess the bayberry is the fruity note, although I really do think I smell apple, and I do smell the cedar. I don't smell pine or citrus, although they might be way in the background. It's a nice scent, but for some reason it's not 
it's just not my favorite. There's something about the combination of scents. Oh yeah, I definitely do smell apple. But I guess maybe that's the bayberry. But it smells like apple to me. But I don't know. The combination of the scents doesn't work for me. It's it's a nice scent, just not my favorite. The throw is very good, three or three point five out of five. So there you go. Um, some more Goose Creek candle wax melt scents. I think most of them are already on the website. A couple of them, I think the three Christmas ones, are, or maybe the four Christmas ones might not be on the website yet, but they should be showing up over the next few weeks. So hope you've enjoyed this review. You can read a text version of this review at scentedwaxreviews.com, reviews with an S at the end, dot com, and join our Facebook group where we discuss all kinds of store-bought and retail scented wax melts. And you can find the link to the Facebook group under this video and also on scentedwaxreviews.com. Have a great day.